All right, we're just gonna start. We're just starting, okay? Oh my god! It's like nothing's more than ever. That's okay. But hey, I remember the intro. Gentlemen, welcome back to Full Circus. My name is Tristan Sartoris, and there's two things I'm good at. Kicking butt and chewing bubble gum. But I'm all out of gum, and there's nobody here, so I don't know who I'm supposed to be. So, guys, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you right off the get-go. We're trying new things, okay? And life is a series of events and hurdles and, you know what, swings, okay? It sounds like a playground, except what do we know about the playground? If left unattended... A child to play without a chaperone, it's dangerous. He can get hurt, he can fall, he can get abducted by not just people, but inconvenience. And that's how I feel I am being treated right now. I'm trying so many different things all the time, and no one's here to explain it, okay? I'm just throwing caution to the wind and hoping, again, that they're getting along. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm trying all these different things. Right now it says the CPU usage is at 4%. Now that sounds good in theory, except I have no idea what that means. So we could be heading for disastrous territory. So I will keep you updated. If you're seeing this right now, that means it kind of works. If you're seeing it through my phone right now, because that is my scapegoat and my contingency plan, I'm <laughs> so sorry. Uh, but look, there's a window and we got rain. Okay. But if you are watching, if this is the only thing that works is this little phone secondary camera, then it failed atrociously and it's just going to be a shot of basically my right nipple okay and that's inconvenient i'm sorry about that but you know what i'm uncomfortable too so now we're both feeling awkward but anyways how are you guys doing i'm happy to be here with you um as long as i am here with you i don't know i really don't but in time we are collecting the infinity stones of uh, production and efficiency and that's that's all you can really ask for in this life so Guys, oh, I don't know. I, 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 I put my brain in such a, a spin of going, I don't know if anyone's even seen this. So do I really want to lay my heart on the line and see if it's going to, you know, take off? It's like a pilot trying to fly a plane without any passengers. What's the point, you know, for the passion of, of flight and, the, and spacecraft and engineering and all the things that go into, you know, Aeroplanes? No! He likes to deliver people from Florida to Massachusetts, and that's what he lives for. And I live for having a good time with you guys, so <laughs> if, if we're uh, not doing this, then we're not doing this. But we'll see how it goes. I, I, the reason I'm taking this swing now is so you might think last episode came out just dandy and fine, and it did, except for that it cut off abruptly. I spent 17 hours trying to export that footage because it was shot in 4 or 8K or something, because these fancy dandy cameras. And I didn't know how to process that or export it, so I was up for all night. I was up forever, okay, just trying to file away, and then I, it's all a bunch of, again, mumbo-jumbo. We don't need to hear about the hurdles. We just need to know that I what? Cleared them. Because that's what we do, baby! All right? We find obstacles, and we jump over them for no reason. And that's why we come to the playground to do uh, parkour. So <laughs> it was a it was a hurdle. So that's why we're trying this thing now to see if we can get it done. So let's pick up right where we left off. Honestly, last week, I I got cut off in the middle of a grand statement. OK, I had a grand story for you, and it was one of excitement and drama, but mostly tragedy. OK, and that's that I don't. I don't want to brag about it, and I don't think this sounds good, and I don't even know if I should talk about this, all right? But I killed a mouse, okay? Now, this, this, this may get me in trouble, all right? I didn't want to do this. Nobody wants to kill a mouse. I wasn't going out there just trying to hunt it for sport, but he left me no choice. And I know people say, just, you know, just capture it and do this and, and take it out. I, I tried to just live with it, okay? All right, before you judge me, you say, you killed a mouse? You sicko? I tried to live with it. I didn't even set a trap. I just let that be in my domain, all right? Now, which one of you would let a mouse just run about? Probably none. That's okay. So I just want to make sure we understand the kindness that I hold in my heart before we do any judging. Now, this kindness that I had for this mouse quickly went straight out the window, right? Because I had some bread and I had some tortilla chips and... I had some cinnamon raisin bagels, which, by the way, are the best flavor. And I I walk in here excited, okay, so excited to eat these bagels and chips and just 
party, okay? Because that's my kind of fun. Like, there's bread, chips, and bagels? Come on! And uh, what do I find but a hole in this bag, okay? I thought we were going to get along. I didn't want to kill this mouse, okay? I didn't want to have to do this. But he left me no choice, and I was left with no other option but to go to war, okay? It had to be done. It had to be, you know what? I, I had to put on my Iron Man sunglasses, and I had to look at this mouse right in the eye and say, my name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. There's no politics here. It's just good old-fashioned you and me. So I do the only thing I know how to do. And I go and I buy a mousetrap. And then I'm immediately confronted by my sister-in-law because she was also aware of the mouse. And she said, you can't buy... I got glue traps, okay? Now, I don't know, again, how... I, I Guys, I just don't want to be a bad guy. Mostly because I'm in complete control of what I say here and what I edit out. So I don't know what's right or wrong. But the point is, is that I had to go to war! Wars are, they're fought not because people just want to fight wars, but because they have to. It's about establishing territory and dominance. And he betrayed me, okay? Make, make no mistake about it. This was his fault. But I bought glue traps uh, because they were cheap and they were there. And it was the first thing when you say, hey, where are the mouse traps? They say, right there. Glue traps, done, bye. So I'm setting these traps out, okay? And uh, my sister-in-law, she sees it, and she's like, this is horrible. This is not the way you go about it. And this is why I'm afraid of even telling the story, because, like, am I a bad person? So I'm really trying to emphasize how much of a good person I really am, because I have a microphone, and I can do that. I, uh, <laughs> I, I have these glue traps, and I'm putting peanut butter powder and Nutty Buddy on them, because I don't know what a mouse likes, okay? I should just put the rest of my bagels that he ruined, but I didn't. I put peanut butter and Nutty Buddy, and she said it was horrible because you, you catch him in a glue trap, and he basically just sits there and dies. And so she gets this super fancy, handy-dandy, it's a mouse cage. It's a mouse, you know, domain. It's like a clubhouse. It's like if you go out and you find a nice cabin in the woods, basically the mouse is going to walk into this cage and accidentally get trapped, but really he's relocated to a mansion. There's like a little couch and she put a variety of cheeses and crackers and there's like scented candles in there and stuff. Maybe a little flat screen. I have no idea, okay, but I wanted to be a part of it. So I was like, fine, no problem. I'm going to put my glue traps away. We can go about this in this this nicer manner, okay? Because I don't, again, I don't want to hurt the mice, right? I don't I just want to kill a mouse for fun. I'm not trying to do this. So she has a very appropriate way that she wants to go about it. Granted, fine. I let it be. Now, I tell you what. This mouse isn't interested in all the grandiose pleasures because he doesn't care about this. You know what he cares about? Being a nuisance. He cares about eating and crapping everywhere. So now my counters are filled with mice poop because he's eating these variety of cheeses that she said no, and he's getting away. So now there's crap all over, and he's eating more of my stuff, and I say, you know what? It's over. Glue traps are coming back out because, again, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but we have to call it what it is. This is no longer a mouse. This is a rat, okay? This is a – and we're going to put these glasses back on to establish my, the Italian mobster that I had to become, okay? I had to put a head out on this guy, okay? I was going to wake him, all right? And I put the glue traps back out, and I'm sprinkling a platter, on these things. And I put out four of them. All right. I'm not playing around here. This is we're, we're past fun and games. He's a rat and you take out a rat. So uh, I did get in trouble and she was like, it's not humane. And I was like, you know, what's not human? A rat. OK. And people like to argue and they say, well, well, why would you do that? Like, what if it was you? OK. Would you like a rat to treat you that way? You know what? If I broke into the rat's house and I started crapping on his counter and I started eating all his food, I'd expect him to slaughter me however he chooses. All right. He's lucky I didn't roll him up in a carpet and drown him in the river. OK. I got to take these off. We're getting... We're getting too passionate. We're getting too violent. Okay, the mobster, it's it's in me. Point is, <laughs> nobody wants a dead rat around. It's The dead rat is, is probably one of the worst things you can have, second only to a live rat. So it had to be done. I eventually, I did catch him, um, and he's he's gone now. Okay, he's no longer with us. But 
it was a thrilling chase. I won't lie to you. Okay, so like I said, I'm not doing this for sport. But if I had to, I still wouldn't want to, guys. It's it was it was annoying. There was crap everywhere, and I'm spraying and dusting and wiping crap down and I lost so much food man I lost so much food and it's just not fair because he's eating my food and then crapping it out on the places where I wanted to eat that food you see how this works so it it wasn't good I, I wasn't a big fan and um that was what I wanted to update you on last week so this this rant okay he has been gone for a week now rest in peace he fought his best um but he you know he flew a bit too close to the sun he flew a bit too close to me and I took him out. And I'm sorry for that, okay? I know I'm making jokes, and I know I'm making it sound deeper and more passionate than it needs to be, but I, I got no satisfaction. No, I got satisfaction. My bad. I didn't get satisfaction in the slaughtering. I didn't, I, I didn't slaughter. I, I killed him, okay? I got him. That's it. I, I just, I don't know. She got in my head because she was saying it was horrible. So now I'm like, is this, should I even tell him? Is it problem? Are you allowed to kill mice anymore? Or you just let them live. I had to do it, okay? And I'm, you know what? No, I'm not going to apologize anymore. I didn't torture him. I didn't, like, freaking beat him up on the walls. I just, I killed him, and then I set him in the garbage. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> welcome back. I don't know if any of this is going, but we're having fun regardless. What's up, second camera? If this is all that you're seeing, I'm sorry. Uh, don't look at my nipples. So, I... <laughs> Um, man, in the news, what's going on in the news? Not much, dude. I did see that there was the vice presidential debate, and normally I don't care about this. I don't care about politics at all. I think it's boring. I think it's complicated, and I'm just not a fan of the hostility that it comes. However, I saw clips of it, and I was thoroughly impressed, okay, because they talked about some different things, but they were like respectful and they agreed to one another, you know, like there's nodding. You ever see nodding? Nodding's nice. You don't see a lot of nodding in politics anymore when people have differing stances. They go, you know what? You know, I see where he's going. That's not a bad point. I mean, I do it maybe just a slightly different way, but I see where you're coming from. That was nice to see, okay? I think for as long as I've been an adult, politics has felt like this big reality TV show where it's, ha, gotcha, and I'm saying this thing, and bang, and, and, you know, you try to say the right things that make headlines but instead they were like hey we both acknowledge this same issue right right yes of course now this is about yeah i see it and they were sympathetic and and i really liked to see that um so that was cool i don't i don't know what else to say about that except hey good stuff more of that politics it just feels like a giant i told you so you know i don't even know how much people even care about issues anymore except for it's like this is my guy and i really hope he beats your guy so i can say i told you he'd win i told you and i'm not a big fan of i told you so okay i'm just it's it's petty um that's a lie i love i told you so because i told everybody that deshaun watson was garbage the second that we got him and you know what i faced a lot of people going Give him a chance. We don't know what it is. It's okay if he did all these creepy, disgusting things because he's an all-star quarterback. We're going to win Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl. We can't win a freaking game with this guy, and we sold our soul. You ever sell your soul for trash? We got duped. Fool's gold. And we sold away these people who actually had talent and passion for the franchise, and now they're flying. No, nay, nay. They're soaring, much like the pilot that I described earlier in this episode where he just wants to fly from Fl uh, Florida, I think is what I said, to Massachusetts, somewhere. Okay, he's flying two places with people, and these quarterbacks, they're taking people and doing great things, and we're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. So it's a bit frustrating. So I, 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 I guess I see where the people are coming from in politics. If I mean, if I'm not ingrained enough to know where the Deshaun Watsons are, all right, but as someone who recognized the Deshaun Watson when Deshaun Watson came along, I'm I'm very much uh, angry in the fact that people told me I was stupid, and then now they go, I can't believe this this whole Deshaun Watson things. Go figure. You know who knew this guy that didn't like fair football? And he was just a freaking mess of a human being. Who knew this wasn't gonna pan out? And we sold the freaking farm for him. I can't believe it. I did. And there's no there's no apologies. Nobody goes, hey, you know, you were right. Nothing. All right. We're just finally in the same. Like we just we hopped in a sinking boat years ago, and I said, hey, this boat's sinking. They said, no, it's not. We're going to sail. And I said, I don't think so. And they go, shut up, shut up, get out of here. Just sit in the back. Don't talk about this. And then we get about three feet, and the boat 
fills up with water and, and they go, well, how about that? And that's where we're at right now as a Browns fan. So it's, uh, it's pretty rough, man. It's pretty rough. Speaking of sinking and boats, man, prayers out for all the people down in Florida. Dude, it's all looping back to this made-up guy I said who's flying from Florida. Ma- Dude, who would he- I, we got to check it on Massachusetts because I don't know why I said it. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, prayers out for all the people who are down in Florida, man. Like, the freaking – it's a mess, dude. All these hurricanes and they're coming through and they're ripping people. And I hope everybody's getting out safe as safe as can be. It's also crazy. Like I saw a lot of flights. They were raising their prices. I don't think you should be able to price gouge uh, a natural disaster or a survival. They're like, oh, shoot, everybody wants to leave. Well, well, if isn't that just, uh, you know, consumption. OK, that is demand. And they uh, demanded more money. So that sucks. But hopefully everybody's getting safe. Not everybody wants to get safe is pretty wild. I've seen that on social media a lot. Some people just ride it out. And that's a bold play. I won't lie to you. And I'm still praying for your safety, even if it's ignorant. But I, uh, I'd have, I've never... I, I'll leave if there's rain. Okay? Just normal rain. I don't have hurricanes here in Ohio, but I, it's just like, oh, shoot, the sun's gone. I'm... Ah. You know? Like, I <laughs> to see someone say, there's a hurricane coming. And they go, nah. That's pretty... Uh, it's pretty bold. Um, not the wisest, and I'll say that, okay? I'm not afraid to say that's not a wise move, um, but I, I just, uh, I think the problem is the names with the hurricanes, and we've discussed this before. I mean, it was Hurricane Helene or something, and now it's Hurricane Milton. Milton, dude. That's the problem. No one's scared of a Milton. There's no, you know, hur- Hurricane Milton's coming! No disrespect to Milton's whatsoever, but it's the worst name of all time. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, you could put Milton on something that is dangerous and threatening and scary, and it's it's a complete cover, okay? Like, if I wanted people to trust me, I would name myself Milton because no one goes, well, we got to look out for Milton. No one's ever said that. So that's why people aren't leaving. Like, Mike Tyson, most lethal boxer, okay, fighter of all, he could rip the head off somebody. But if his name was Milton, I stand no chance with him in the ring. But if his name is Milton... I might, okay, with then have all the skill he wants for some reason in my head. I I think I can get it done, okay, because his name's Milton. Milton? You know what? Call it Reaper or call it Hurricane Death, Death 1, 2, 3, and just so on, just sequential. Hey, Hurricane Death 45 is coming. Oh, my gosh, another death? That would get people going, okay, or just Blade. I don't Hurricane Blade, Hurricane... Dark hurricane, I don't know, Watson. Um, <laughs> it's just a mess. I don't know. I don't know what the thinking is there. I don't know how it started. Please feel free to enlighten me in that capacity because I have no idea. I keep adjusting this because I'm like, oh, it's not in frame. Is that not? I have some nice hot coffee here because we like to be festive. I'm kidding. It's chocolate milk. Uh, I don't like coffee. Um, by the way, dude, we do have some festivities going on right now. Okay, look at that. Look at that. We got leaves and and, 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 and this thing. And, and this thing says gather on it. How about that? I I got these orange napkins. And then I just, I, 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 orange, and I just threw it in there. Um, and that's, that's, this is, you know, this is all I got. All right. I'm not an interior decorator. And you know why that is? Is because I never had a membership to Club Penguin. I never got to decorate my igloos. I never got good at it. So I don't know what I'm doing. I just buy stuff. Okay. I just throw it at the wall and eventually fall ends and I give it all to my mom. And then she's like, oh, this is nice. Oh, and she does something nice with it. But this is this every single year. Watch every fall episode of this podcast. I'm like, freaking yeah, dude. I got nothing. I need to be better with my money for real, dude. This candle, by the way, I bought this as well about a month ago. I, I just saw it. It was like six bucks. And I was like, a six dollar candle? That sounds like a, I don't know how much candles are. I saw it. I was like, six dollars. I got it. And then I just left it in my car and it melted uh, sideways. So it was just, you couldn't even light it because the wick was just completely gone. So now I finally got it started and I'm just trying to make it a complete liquid i guess i don't know what i'm trying to do in life guys all right i'm just trying to be festive join me in that i did have a flannel oh man it's all over the ground now that sucks i was trying to wear that um but it was it was getting pretty warm and, and toasty and and i was panicking because i didn't know if the show was going to start so like I freaking it's, it's hot. so that's where we're at right now but anyways man um yeah back to milton there's nothing more i, I 
maybe they call it Milton because people are like, I would be so embarrassed to die to a Hurricane Milton. You know, it's like Hurricane Rose. Like, well, like Hurricane Rose. What's a like a weak, pathetic thing that you would look at and you'd be like, hmm, that's, I'm not going down to that. You know, Hurricane, <sighs> I don't know, Jojoba Oil. Is that a hair thing? I saw that with the candle. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Find anything embarrassing in your life where you're like, I, I don't know, because as embarrassing as it is, I, you know, you can't bank on that because clearly it's not working. People are not evacuating. People are not leaving, and we pray for those people, not just for uh, you know mental fortitude, but also to get out of there and that they're safe. Um, so in other news, man, I uh, I helped some people move uh, this past week. I'm. I'm a yes man, okay? And that's not because I want to be, all right? I don't I don't like this idea where I'm so reliable and everybody comes to me. And they're like, hey, we're in a bind. We need help here. Who do we call, okay? Who are you going to call? A sucker, Tristan Sartoris, because he always shows up. And why does he always show up? He doesn't know, man. I just, I, and by the way, there are times where I don't show up and I feel bad because those people might be watching the podcast. Like, what the frick? We, we were calling and asking help her. We were in a bar, we were trying to move, and he just said no. He said he was busy. He said he had nothing going on, but he still didn't want to come. Yeah, there are some times where I have enough self-esteem where I say, I'm not going to do it. Um, and I'm sorry for that. And then you listen to this, like, well, he just, he jumps at every opportunity but us. I don't mean it, okay? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why I do it, but I like the idea. I guess it's, it's Uncle Ben, you know? With great power comes great responsibility, and I have free time. And I'm like, well, maybe they need my help. Maybe they need to do this. And I get there, and they don't even really need me. You know, I just end up giving up my days and time for no reason. Because they're like, hey, we were just, we didn't, it was a long shot. We're like, yeah, nobody else came. I didn't think, why Why would you show up? Okay, this was, it was a, I was just throwing, I was just throwing stuff at the wall. I can't believe he keeps coming around. And I need to stop that. But I helped somebody move, and uh, it was, it was fine. I just, I got a. I don't know. Sorry, everyone, does, that I say no to. <laughs> I, I I try to say no a lot as much as I can unless I'm feeling really good. So if you catch me on the right day, I'm not really – I wouldn't say it's a yes, man. I think I try to do my best to gauge whether or not somebody needs me, and I fail every time, okay? Because every time I go, people are like, yeah, we don't. And then the people that I don't go, I, I now worry. Maybe they're like, we were really, you know, we were stranded. Like Hurricane Milton was coming. We're like, we need you. I'm like, Phew. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not a yes man. This time, I'm standing up for myself, and uh, and I failed them. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, moving's fun. It's not. I don't know why I said that. Moving sucks, man. Okay, because it's just you're just picking stuff up and putting it back down. Three, you carry it three feet and then three feet back out, and that's just all that it is. Um, and there's nothing. There's no positives in moving. I like to find silver linings in things. There's not one in moving. There isn't. Okay. I, 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 you have, you have some sort of bonding. Nope. Some sort of anything. Nope. You just move. You're moving. And that's all that it is. And that's why it's called moving because it's not, Hey, it's not called fun. It's just called moving. I don't know what I'm trying to say except for, uh, don't do it. Okay. I think I'm trying to put this in because I know that I'm going to watch my own show and I'm going to remind myself. All right, Tristan, if someone's asking you right now, okay, they're saying, Hey, we're in a bit of a bind. Is there any way you can help us move this Saturday? And you're going, I don't really need to do anything Saturday. I was kind of just going to enjoy the peace and freedom that I've earned. But what if they don't? They don't need you. Leave. Bail. All right. Do you have better things to do? Absolutely not. But still don't go. All right. And keep your head up. Um, I don't know. Maybe they do need you. Uh, it was good, though. It was it was fine. Um, and I actually, it was just for family friends. So I was, I was helping out and then I ended up in a weird kind of, uh, Amazon, um, opportunity where he asked me if I wanted to do some, some voiceover for some like little Amazon ads and stuff. And I was like, for sure, of course. And then going into it, I, I wasn't sure exactly what it was, but then I was writing these little scripts and I was filming these little scripts and I was editing these little scripts and then doing the voiceover. So I'm, I'm, I'm making uh, Amazon commercials now for products. And I don't know how I just ended up in this thing just out of nowhere. He's like, hey, do you want to help us move? I was like, for sure. He's like, hey, do you want to do this? And I'm like, for sure, because I just jump at opportunities for no reason. And, uh, and sometimes it pays off because I'm actually having a lot of fun with it because 
it's like festive stuff too. So I've got all these candles and pumpkins and you'll see them. I'm going to bring them out for the Halloween episode. Um, but it's a lot of fun just doing, you know, just doing some new stuff. And it's, uh, I would have brought them out, but I don't know how to use them. Um, did I talk about the window? Look at that, dude. We got rain. Okay. That's weather. Weather. Sorry. I don't know if that's hard for the hurricane people to to see um i don't i don't mean rain bad rain no good so guys um yeah fall is here i hope you're enjoying it make sure you don't let anything pass by it's hard i mean it's difficult it really is because sometimes you get busy sometimes people ask you to move and then you just saturdays go by and things wind up and all of a sudden it's near halloween and you don't know what you're doing for your costume you don't know what kind of party you're going to you don't know what your favorite candy is you sucker pay attention eat more um, and so I'm really trying my best to focus in on that and know, <sighs> know how many days I have left in <laughs> life in, uh, in October. So this is your reminder right now to get festive. Do you know what? Just, just today. All right. If you do nothing else this October, do something for yourself. Buy a festive fall candle or, or some sort of crappy decorations that you don't know how to use, or just say happy Halloween to somebody. Does that work? Can you do that? Like people say, Merry Christmas when it's not Christmas at all or even after Christmas. Like, oh, thank you so much. I can't believe you said that. Can you do that with Happy Halloween? I don't know if you can do that in September, October, just any point. Go, hey, Happy Halloween. And they're like, what? Are you a psycho? Because only an ill person would be wishing Happy Halloween weeks in advance. All right. Um, but I, I'm curious. I might have to try that. I, you know what? I will try it. I'm going to do it, and I will report back to you next week for that because you have to get some sort of stare. It's not a merry thing, even though you say happy in it. I think it's there's so much, oh, right? That's the sound of Halloween. Um, I think it's there's difference. There's a difference. There's no jingle bells in Halloween. And I, I'm, I don't know. We'll try it. It, it. Maybe it depends on the person. I think an old lady might be like, you're sick. But if a younger person, they might be like, why are you talking to me? Um, so I uh, what's going else? What's going else, dude? What is going else? Oh, today it's uh, it's mental health day. So again, for your uh, your fall, get some fall things going because it's it's mental health awareness day. Take care of your mental health. Take care of yourself and uh, and do good by you. However, I'm recording this episode in advance, so it's already passed and nobody cares anymore. But you need to. OK, so just because everyone else doesn't care about your mental health anymore you need to all right care about you get yourself a candle um what the freaking heck guys everything's falling apart and that's okay all right because if everything was together then what fun would it be all right it wouldn't be the full circus um so we're having as much fun as we can and i hope you guys are taking care of yourself sorry i'm just looking through these news articles and it's really just politics and mental health awareness i did see one though um it was a study that just came out. I don't remember who it was. Somebody's here and they're cutting baseboard. I don't know if you can hear that. But anyways, uh, a study found that 10%, only 10% of people are self-aware of how others perceive them, of who they really are. Isn't that interesting? And I have to assume that these people, these 10% or these 90% of people that aren't self-aware, I have to assume they don't have older siblings, okay? Because if you, you kind of, you need people in your life to check you. And if you don't have older siblings, um, you're never going to know who you really are because they are like siblings are lifelong bullies and that's great and that's fine and you need that. Okay. If you don't have somebody in your life to just say, Hey, you can't do this. You're not good at this. You're stupid. You're ugly. You're fat. You're et cetera. Then you're, you're, you're going to always think you're better than you are. Okay. And they need to hold you, you know? It's like staying grounded without having any reason to be off the ground, but they just make sure you know, hey, you're never leaving the ground, by the way. Even if it's not true, man, I feel like sometimes you can just say something and you just make fun of people. And but you need a, you need to be you know, there's a good amount of bullying that needs to be happened. I believe I think that's important because, um, you know, even if it's not true, it's just something that kind of sticks in your head and it makes you reflect and you look at yourself and you become a little bit more self-aware. And they say, you're no good. And you go, I, I, maybe I'm not so good, you know, um, but just enough. OK, just enough. Like, no, it gets still it was mental health awareness day. So stay OK. But there, are, there needs to be some sort of, you know. Uh, looking inward and that happens when people bully you 
I remember one time, dude, I was five years old, okay? And my older brother said, you run like a fairy. I have never forgot. It's been 20 years since he said this, all right? I was running barefoot through the grass. I remember I was helping my mom get groceries. I was running through the grass, and it was wet, and I guess I was kind of tiptoeing, and I was a little bit uncoordinated at the time because I was five, and I haven't forgotten it, okay? And you know what that did? It made me look inward. And you know what I did? I got more coordinated, not just because I, I was aging. I, I was still learning to use my body. But I also, I took time to, to genuinely work on myself and my form. All right? So sometimes you need somebody to say, hey, by the way, you kind of lie. You, you kind of run like a fairy. Uh, you kind of you run like a fairy. And it sticks with you. Sometimes someone will say, hey, you walk with your feet outwards. Are you a little bit of penguin? And you go, I need the freaking, you know? So make sure you have people in your life to not let things go, all right? Because you don't want to have yes men who just say, I'll help you move whenever, but with yourself. If you're just saying, I'm awesome all the time, and people go, yeah, he's, he's awesome, that's no good, all right? My family has never said a nice thing about me ever. That's not true. My mom's great. Um, but, <laughs> the rest of my, you know, and that's amazing because I'm so egotistical and arrogant that I need other people to constantly drag me Every time I see them, okay, I'm like, hey, what's up? And they go, you're fat. Um, so that's a, that's a nice way to go about it, man. you got to keep your people in check. And you know what? That's what family's for, okay? Make fun of your family before the world does, okay? You need to be on top of that. Younger sibling, older sibling, mom, dad, whatever. Um, make sure you're making fun of each other because without it, um, I don't know. You're all just a bunch of Miltons, and that's no good for anybody. They're, they're speaking so loud right now, okay? So many saws and things are going off. Um, I, I think that's pretty much everything we have to talk about. I don't know if any of this is recording through here, but hey, if you've been watching through the right nipple cam, hope things have been all right. It's a bit cold, sorry. Um, <laughs> I am happy to be here with you guys. Always happy to experience a fall time with you. Um, I think that's the message here. I think that's enjoy your fall, take care of your mental health, but make sure you uh, ruin other people's for the good of their own uh, image or reflecting, I think. I don't know. It's kind of wild, though. Ten percent. Ten percent are self-aware. I consider myself one of them, and, and maybe that's a cra uh, What was I going to say? A catch-22. I almost said a crash-22 because I'm crashing out. I, uh, maybe it's a catch-22 where everybody who thinks they're self-aware isn't, um, but I think I'm self-aware enough to know that I am self-aware. But that could be said otherwise for anybody. So, guys, I think that's everything. Uh, we're going to keep on collecting more fall decorations until we dispose of them and throw them into the air in a very festive manner and then I'm going to get towards Christmas and we can say happy Christmas. We can say Merry Christmas now and people might even say it back and go out there and you can try the new Happy Halloween early experience with me and see how they respond. I just don't know how it's going to go. I'm just, there's so much, there's, there's a cloudiness that comes with Halloween and it's, it's whimsical and it's fun, but it's, I think to an extent people go, no, no, you know, it's, what are you, it's your trick or treating, get up go get somewhere else so we'll see um hopefully these decorations are cool you know what i'm sorry i didn't do anything with the napkins okay and that might look like it's lazy but it's not it's resourceful kind of and that's all we can really hope for in the world oh dude by the way i drank a gallon of milk today a gallon why uh no good reason actually it was expiring today and what's insane about that is like in my head, okay, I'm like, I can't waste this money. I can't, even though I'll just spend $6 on a candle that I don't even want, but I'm like, it's, it's $2 off. Milk costs what? Two, three bucks? I drink it all the time, but I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot about this one gallon because I was, I forgot to consume it because I was consuming other things. And I saw this gallon of milk today, this morning, and that's all I've had today. All I've had is a gallon. I've had a gallon of milk, dude. Uh, so vegans beware. I'm on the loose. I've got a thirst for uh, dairy and vengeance, if you ask the mice. But uh, I, uh, I'm out of control, man. But I will tell you, it's not a bad diet, okay? I feel strong. My bone density, my teeth, my nails, like everything. I feel like I'm on top of my game, okay? So there might be something to this gallon thing. I, I'm at the point where, like, 
I have my own cow, you know, like there's just like cows are working overtime, you know, like I, there's going to be like a lack of beef. Okay. I'm single handedly saving cows from being slaughtered. Okay. In fact, I think it's a good thing. Um, I think it's a good thing. I, uh, they can't kill the cows because like we need more milk from this. I know we need steak. I know we need beef. I know we need this and that, but this milk production, okay, out of North Ohio, oh, this guy is going a ham right now. Which, you know, we can slaughter that all we want. But this guy's going after the milk like crazy. We got we got to buy the pail, buy the gallon, buy the bucket. Um, so I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. Next episode, I'll report back whether or not I died from drink. I don't know. I don't know what the – are there any consequences to that? There's nothing in milk, right? There's some protein. There's some good fats. There's some – you know, a little bit of sodium, a little bit of sugar, like a little bit of carbs. It's fine, though. I think it's fine. Um, but I might die, and that's okay because I've, I've, I guess I've slaughtered a mouse, and that would be just be the way I go out. Okay, I drank so much milk. That's not a bad way to go out. I think it's better than trying to Hurricane Milton. Although Hurricane Milk is a pretty, that's a pretty rough way to go out, man. Yes, he pulls it all the way back around. That's the name of the episode, Hurricane Milk. Write it down. Um, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I very much appreciate you. Don't kill mice unless you absolutely have to. And then sometimes you might, uh, end up bragging about it if you carry your little Italian mobster glasses with you, but don't let people think you're a bad guy. Make sure you put emphasis that not only are you a good person, but that you help people move. So how could you be a bad person? You help someone move. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Get fall, get festive, uh, stay healthy, drink and eat other things than milk and uh i think that's it and hopefully you saw this in any form okay i'll see you <laughs>